the languages and the idea of respect for all things living and all things that have departed this life, when that is lost, then we come to the very end. <laughs> is what we are told. That means that we are going to lose our language. And when we lose our language, it's very easy to lose the culture, cultural information. But uh, in the process of uh, losing the language, we find that our young people, and even people that we think should know better, are using words out of context and saying one thing when it actually means something else to the, the older people that understand the language. The word Kwasan is in reference to all of our people, the, the Ne, who have lived and who have passed on. And it is that uh, they lived a life and they showed us things and they lived a life that brought joy to members of the family and they left some good memories. But it is that the, uh, the word Kwasan is in reference to them and in paying them respect and publicly thanking them for having lived a life. And the correct way to say it is that after you introduce yourself and uh, greet the people. After you say all of that, then you say, that is making that reference to our departed loved ones. And uh, is the way you say it. You never say it. You don't say it that way. That's what we have lost, is that the understanding that you pay respect to those who have passed on, and the uh, important thing is to recognize. And so when you're sitting there in a, in a gathering and somebody gets up and introduces themselves and uh, greets everyone and then refers to Nikakwasan, take the time to remember some of your loved ones that have lived a life that have passed on. Probably have lost many, but uh, you know, sometimes when I think about them, I think about Great, 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 great grandparents. And I think, what kind of person and people were they? I know they lived and they had families and they had trials and they understood the idea that the purpose of life was to gain joy and happiness and confidence and peace. And they wanted to have the uh, grandchildren and their children and all of the generation following that have that same opportunity to have the joy and the happiness and confidence and peace that they experienced. And so when I think and hear that word, Nikakwasan, I take the time to think about some of those people that I have never met, I can only imagine. But I had the opportunity to meet my own great-grandparents, and they told me about their, their parents, which would be my great-great-grandparents, and some of the wonderful things that they had to say about those people in those particular times. The people that have passed on, and those that we honor and show respect to that have lived a life, they are now in a place with complete joy, with complete peace, with complete happiness, and with complete confidence. And it is that those are the things that the, they have acquired after living in this life. And so those are the things that we have to also look forward to is in the life hereafter. And that's very important for our people to understand. The uh, teachings of our people are to understand that uh, we would not have what we have if those people of the past, and the Hikwasan, if they didn't suffer, if they did not sacrifice, and if they did not see the importance of us having this information, at least we can be grateful for that. And when we hear the word, the Hikwasan, we can think to ourselves, thank you, ancestors. Thank you for the things that you have given me and made it possible for me. Thank you, my old people. To uh, use the word kwasan when you greet your audience and then you pay respect to the uh, people that are, have experienced life and have passed on, that's what the word means, is to remember our kwasan, nike kwasan. You always use that nike kwasan. You don't say shakwasan. That is not correct in its, its proper use. I wanted to say that the, uh, the language of our people is tried uh, People are trying to preserve it by writing it uh, in phon uh, a phonetical form using the alphabet. But the meaning of the words in that will be lost, is what we are told. Saad is the actual word. Saad ba da da is when they say that our words and its meaning will be lost. And so when you say the words, even the greeting, yat eh, 
People say, that means hello. No, it does not mean hello. It means it is good. And the uh, language, when you lose the meaning of it to that extent, it is uh, very sad. And so the, there are many, many words in that that are, that are losing its meaning, and the meaning is completely gone. And we are told, when we are told that our language will be lost at some point. And then the other part of that teaching is that, I don't see the neh, I don't think, which is that we that call ourselves the neh is going to be no more. I pointed out some time ago that it was that uh, all people, the five-fingered being, are to understand that they are the neh. Everyone, every five-fingered being is the neh in that form. And so when the languages and the idea of respect for all things living and all things that have departed this life, when that is lost, then we come to the very end of our existence. And those are the things that we are told. Yeah, that's how I began for you.